this video, I'm going to show you three things that could be destroying your Next.js app. Did you know that you could potentially be remounting your components over and over, which is going to wreak havoc on your app? Secondly, you could be transferring so much data using images without realizing it. And three is the way we use the layout component. So let's get started. If you guys like Next.js, React, front end development, CSS, animations, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. The first thing I want to show you, which seems so trivial, is so important. The first thing is the link tag. I have just a plain setup, which I'm going to demonstrate in this video, three different things. I have a header, body with some images and a footer and two pages, home and about, so I can demonstrate some of this. Remember, Next.js has a link component, which is essentially it's routing. You have to use the link component when you're going from page to page, because if you don't, when you're essentially remounting your entire app each time, getting rid of the benefits of not having to render components that have already been rendered. So right now I'm using regular old, you know, a tags home and about, you know, for these pages. So look what happens when I refresh, I'm using a use effect and I'm just demonstrating a console log every time it's mounted just to show you. So right here on a refresh, my whole app has mounted. That should never really mount again unless the user re refreshes or destroys the, the client side of things. So let's go to home. Every time I click home, but right now the app mounted. And if I go about, again, I'm essentially destroying the benefits. I'm going back to regular old, you know, HTML, vanilla JavaScript. And every time the page loads, all my my components are remounting and my entire app is mounted. You can imagine if you have, if you're making fetch calls, if you're doing a bunch of things, you are just really destroying your app. So just please pay attention. It seems trivial, but sometimes, you know, when we're using Next.js, we don't think of these things. So we definitely want to make sure that when we're linking out to different pages within our app, we want to be using our link component, which essentially is you don't want to be using the href inside of the a tag. You can add the a tags nested, but you want to leave out the href. The href goes into Next.js's link component, which is linked, you know, to its routing. Now, so if you refresh, now, of course, our app mounted for the first time, but now when we, when we go to the about page, these other mount, but the app didn't mount again, all these other things mounted. I'm going to demonstrate those other points, the header and the footer and all those things mounted because we also can reduce that. So, but again, flipping back and forth, our app JS has never, so our entire app did not mount again. So that's the first thing you definitely want to avoid is make sure you're using the link component. The next thing, which is really killer, you want to make sure you want to pay attention to, you could be potentially transferring megabytes and megabytes and maybe potentially gigabytes of data and ultimately destroying your Vercel account and going to your limits in monthly transfer on any hosting you have with your next JS. So that is using the image component. So let's talk about that for a second. So if we go back here to my index page, I have a component called photos where I essentially just have a bunch of photos, you know, just using the regular old default image tag. So one, I've already reduced these. Okay. Which is good. I've already compressed them, but look what's happening. I'm going to just clear my cache. If I'm just putting an image tag, take a look at what's happening. So if we go to our network on a refresh, and take a look at what's happening now without me having to scroll down automatically i've instantly transferred all of the images one megabyte 884 kilobytes look at the total five eight point eight five megabytes nothing there's no lazy loading there's nothing it just instantly loads all the images that's on the page and as we flip back and forth you can see I'm just constantly reloading. Now look what happens now if we use the image component. I'm going to be using the same exact amount of images, but I just have them all in image components, which is basically image. So you're just using the source, alt, and then again, this is just additional attributes, but essentially the same thing. So let's go home, let's refresh. Now let's take a look at what happened. Look at the images and the network. Nothing has passed. I've just loaded my page from the top and all I see is the hero. Nothing has came except the favicon icon and my first image, which is 254 kilobytes. So if you saw previously, it was almost one megabyte. So one, the image component already optimized it. Secondly, it didn't load all the rest of the images on first go. So you can imagine the speed and again, keeping the, the, the limit on your transfer, keeping it low so that you don't run up the limits. Now, if we scroll down, you can see Next.js is doing its automatic lazy loading. It's loading the image as you scroll, only when it comes in view, and it's loading it optimized, right? So that's the benefit of the image component. If I go all the way to the bottom, look at everything. Now, again, you could be compressing these images more, but again, only one megabyte has trans transferred. Also, only when 
the user got scrolled down and opened up the image. Last time we had six megabytes loading without even the user necessarily loading the image, just opening the page loaded all those massive photos in every, every single photo. With the image component, one, we're getting the compression, two, the user's only loading it when it's in view. So that's awesome. The next thing is now if we go to our about, as you can see, again, it's all in memory and the component's not reloading and things like that. The ease on the transfer, the ease on the CPU, it just makes your, your app super blazing fast. Do not skip, definitely use the image components there for a reason, it saves you a lot of headaches. Now let me get to the third um, element to this, which is the layout component. I have a layout component, I'm placing my header in there and the footer in there, and then on the page, Okay, so I got my header in there and I, it's I'm exporting the layout and then on my page, I'm adding the layout component. Okay, so now let's look at what's happening. So I have a use effect doing console log on every single component so we can take a look at this happening. I'm doing a refresh now. So you can see here, my header mounted, the footer mounted, layout mounted, and my app mounted. The, we talked about the first thing, the app should not mount again because we're using our link components if we go to the about page. Now let's look what happened when we go to the about page. Our app mount, our app doesn't mount again, so we're good with that. But now look what's happening. Our header is remounting, our footer is remounting, our layout is also remounting. Our header doesn't need to remount because there's not really much change to it. You know, nothing's really happening. Same thing with the footer. If we go all the way down, I mean, we don't want these constantly. What if we have fetches in our layout component? You know, things that are only supposed to happen once, you know, in, you know, on load. So right now, when you create a layout component and you implement that layout component on each page, every time Next.js loads that page, you're remounting the layout component. One thing you can do is take it out of your page and put it into a, a parent route. Hide the layout component from here, so we're not gonna be using it. So you can see the header and footer is gone, right? So we have nothing, but now what we wanna do is put it into the app.js file or whatever parent root you have running everything. I have this already, so I'm gonna hide my return component. I'm gonna use, I've already kind of created this, and all I'm doing is importing my layout at the top, and I'm putting my layout, and I'm wrapping my entire, you know, sort of app inside of the layout component right here. And now, okay, now do a refresh, start to scratch. I just loaded the app for the first time, right? Header mounted, footer mounted, layout mounted, app mounted. Now when I flip over to my about page, right? If you look here at the bottom, nothing got remounted. Let's go back home. Welcome to Next.js. Nothing remounted. Look at the console log. Let's flip back. Nothing remounted. Again, you can see how blazingly fast what we're doing is we're utilizing all the optimization benefits. And now this becomes a super fast Next.js app. That's the third and final thing. Um, I know there's like a lot of nuances and people have apps structured differently. So you might have to reflect on some of these things. But ultimately, the point is we're trying to get to how we can utilize Next.js's optimization so you can maintain the beautiful speed, you know, of React and how we don't want components to re-render. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.